Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss a scene I created earlier and going through all the process of creating it. So we are going to start with this reference. We got it from the Pinterest and DM Design helped me to find that. So trying to start. So let's go to Blender and start working on that. So I started with the oil head model. It was simple low for 3D model and some basic, you know, I just use remers on some object for some character purposes. We just go CVM and otherwise they are just no poly objects. I created that wall, the ground. And for ground, I just made a low poly model for the base and then covered it with the rocks. I created with procedure. That's it. I will learn to have a YouTube video. You can see there there's wooden area above or in hatch format. So they are the dogs I created with procedure and account. You can see this is the procedure now. So we remove the modifier that the so basic do. And and then I'll apply the modifier and then just copy paste with the scaling options. So I can create that float. And for the proof, I just use a particle hair system. And there are the rocks. I created with Blender Rock Generator. You can see in mass, they are Rock Generator. I enable it. You can create multiple types of rock. But there are lots of multiple types. So just apply it. And it gives you a mid pearly rock. And you have to made it a low poly object, so you are seeing where we supposed to be stable, or otherwise it will take a lot of loads in your viewport, which is very hard to work with. So I use a decibel modifier to make it more low poly, and some other modifier as well, like weighted normal, and then that's. Click some setting. There's nothing more of it. So after I apply all the modifiers, we get a low body of that. And then we can create a bunch of them and just scatter all that. And for the tree, I downloaded it from the gum road. And there was a simple setup for it. I just modified it a little. And it's not a pretty good problem to work with. I didn't have that much problem for it. But now I'm using just a single sunlight for the lighting purpose. And if we look at the head, there the shader. I downloaded some of the blender kit and modifier as I wanted to. So you can see the PBR shader, name is texture I mean, which is the base color. We are, I modified with the procedural shading method to give you the PBR shader. And I'm using the procedural method with no, I'm separating the normal informations with XYZ directions. And if you look at that, there are some texture details we are getting it from the displacement node. From the PVR shader. And I'm moving this method as add factor. When there are some noise and gradient setting, we create it for color variation in our shader. So if you look at that, there's PVR. We are then make it more brighter and added this paint fill. Make it more variable or more dynamic, you can say for that. And the highlights. And we got some wet wood type of material. So, as for the wood, I use the same shader, but just I'm using a geometric node method. So uh, if you go to the working node, if you click on that, you can see I'm using a 
Zedal, Nord, this add, add Jengen, and I'm assigning it as name one, and using it on the Zedal in the attribute Nord. I'm adding it to the main Zedal. When you can see the difference. For the rock cedar, I using the Christopher. I think that's what it's called it is his new name. Cedar. And I just modified it a little. As you can see the above nodes are mine. And for the wood, I'm using the same rock cedar. That's probably just in it. And for those metal things, I'm using some simple PBR metal shader and some cell shading techniques. And for the glass, I'm just using a glass glossy BSPF and we're adding a bottom light bomb to it. For those, we are just blending multiple textures for the color variation and Eating the same geometry not cavity method for it. It's easier that way. You can see the shade and out. Then for the rim light, I'm using the outline method. The using a glow seat. Or you can see brighter color for the outlines. So we can get that game effect. And for the floor is kinda complicated to explain. But it's the same method as our road. Just using a ground tiles PBR for that and adding a bunch of nodes to match with it. And was not that she was able to make the same meta, same material as our reference, but I was well satisfied with it. And for some objects, we are using the extremely basic cell training, but that one was interesting because I added a wave texture. And adding noise texture over it to break the pattern and giving it some interesting variables and new values. As for the tree, I did not do that much in tree, just changing the color of it and it was being way. It was easier this time. Taking much of it, just I added some layer red and gradient texture for some more appealing look, which I kind of like that way. And for the water, I'm just using some wave texture and the noise distortion and using drivers to play with it. But for the side lines, I use the vertex paint method and merging it with noise texture to give it the motion like look. So that was the basic I created that most of the shader are the same. Nothing much of it. And I added some gas clean as well. And some tag procedural shaders or text that I downloaded from YouTube videos. I did not remember the actual name for the word that. And I'm using Lighting Voice Studios 3 for background as well. So that was the basic of that. And after that, I jump to the compositing. But before that, we have to enable some passes. So I enable ambient occlusion, shadow pass, and bloom pass, and mist as well. Those passes are important to composite because it will make our render look more appealing. And I'm adding crypto mate as well. So after render, you will get a lot of input there and you have to use it I think compositing need a separate video for that 
covering it one video can be very confusing so i will try to create one explaining the notes i use often but if you want that video please comment down this this one and after that i just go to premiere pro and added some compositing effect on it and i just finished there so guys thanks for watching we will get and then the next video